The cryptocurrency revolution has fallen victim to its own hype. The first factor behind this chill is the proliferation of scams. Last year, of the 68 crypto coins that have been declared dead, 35 were scams or joke coins. This year, three major cryptocurrency projects have completely crashed. These are Celsius, Luna, and FTX. And apparently, the founder of FTX was also involved in the collapse of Luna. Watch this video all the way through to find out why they collapsed. Of course, we'll also tell you what role FTX's founder played in the collapse of Luna and FTX. Hello everyone and welcome to Crypto Pulse. We are on a mission to spread crypto awareness in the simplest way possible. On this channel, we discuss recent crypto news, price predictions, future crypto opportunities, and 100x gems so that you guys become better investors and make exponential gains. We publish new videos every single day, so make sure to subscribe to not miss any future updates. Now without further ado, let's get started. In the crypto world, the euphoria of the great days has turned short. After a stellar 2021, the cryptocurrency market collapsed in 2022, losing two-thirds of its value already facing a major crisis of confidence. The sector is now facing the fallout of the FTX scandal. This exchange platform, a major player in the sector, was forced to file for bankruptcy on November 11th, following revelations of fraudulent transactions affecting several hundred thousand creditors worldwide. As a reminder, FTX was the second largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. Its collapse caused 1 million victims in the crypto sector, a drama that contrasts with the extraordinary daily life of its employees and even more of its founder, totally disconnected from reality and propriety. Many users still have their funds blocked, up to several billion dollars. On November 13th, the authorities in the Bahamas and around the world launched investigations. Apparently, Sam Bankman Fried, the founder of FTX, remains unaccounted for and says he is in hiding for his safety. Many companies have already ended their partnerships with the platform, and many assets related to FTX have been frozen. The number of people affected by the bankruptcy exceeds $1 million, and the amount of money lost is in the range of $10 to $50 billion. The new CEO of FTX sent to the American Justice numerous documents showing the calamitous management of the company and the funds used by certain employees. However, Sam Bankman Fried spoke publicly for the first time since the collapse of FTX at the New York Times Dealbook Summit in an interview with Andrew Ross Sorkin. He took the opportunity to say that. Contrary to the advice of his lawyers, he preferred to speak publicly to set the record straight, without specifying how it would be feasible. He also said that it was still possible to fully repay the creditors of the platform. Regarding him, he revealed that he now only has a bank account with a balance of $100,000 and that only one of his bank cards remains functional. Overall, the ex-CEO of FTX has mostly repeated that the various elements that have emerged since the fall of his empire are primarily risk management errors and unintentional mistakes. However, he did acknowledge that the platform did not ensure its clients deposited funds at a one-to-one -one ratio. Regardless, FTX is effectively dead, and we hope that Sam Bankman will find a way to refund all victims of this crash. However, the FTX crash is not the only scandal Sam Bankman fried is accused of. Indeed, he is being reinvestigated for the role FTX and Alinda may have played in the collapse of the Terra ecosystem last May. The news was reported by the New York Times, which cites anonymous sources close to the case. Federal prosecutors in the United States are reportedly looking into possible market manipulation by Sam Bankman Fried shortly before the collapse of the Terra ecosystem. Luna's algorithmic Terra USD stablecoin had the flaw of being well under collateralized and investing most of its reserves in Bitcoin, which made it vulnerable to a rapid drop in cryptocurrency prices. Rumor has it that some whale placed large bets against Luna, Terra USD, and Bitcoin, which accelerated the fall of Terra Luna USD. With investors leaving UST at lightning speed, when it became clear that the under collateralized reserves would be quickly exhausted, the process that saw depositors exit quickly. Cryptocurrency prices plummet, and attackers bet against Luna and UST is believed to have accelerated Luna's fall. Investors should remember, however, that the attack was made possible because of vulnerabilities in the Terra experiment, which was not built to withstand large redemptions and or a crypto asset collapse. Investors lost about $40 billion as Luna's price of $116 fell to 10 cents. Terra USD, its stablecoin, fell to less than 10 cents. Now, investigators are looking into whether SBF's actions participated in the collapse of both Luna and UST cryptocurrencies. Manhattan prosecutors are looking into possible price manipulation that benefited the two companies founded by Sam Bankman Fried, FTX, and Alameda Research. As a reminder, during the Terra collapse, the UST stablecoin was unable to maintain parity with the dollar because of too many sell orders. 
It is now known that UST sales came largely from a Lambda research, according to the New York Times. As a reminder, Sam Bankman Fried has confirmed that FTX diverted client funds to bail out a Lambda. If it turns out that this was indeed related to the Terra case, the two biggest crypto scandals of the last few years would turn out to be linked. However, the revelations follow one another for Sam Bankman Fried, FTX, and Elander Research. The malfeasance of the golden boy of cryptos seems to affect a wider field than originally imagined. Where will the investigation end? Nobody knows. Luna and FTX aren't the only big crypto crash this year. Crypto asset lending specialist Celsius Network also announced in July that it had filed for bankruptcy, adding its name to the list of victims of the price collapse in this market. It's been several months since Celsius, one of the largest cryptocurrency lending platforms, was in crisis. The platform promised savers high returns and cheaper access to credit than that offered by traditional banking institutions. It declared bankruptcy amidst a decline in cryptocurrency prices. As mentioned earlier, the cryptocurrency market in 2022 was volatile due to major financial issues such as inflation, a weak stock market, and the increase in interest rates by the Federal Reserve System in the United States. As a result, people began to withdraw their crypto investments from the Celsius network for fear that the value of their cryptocurrency would collapse and began to convert them into cash and other more stable assets. As more and more people began to withdraw their investments from the Celsius network, other investors became concerned about Celsius' ability to pay back all the crypto funds deposited. This in turn created a panic, where more and more people started to withdraw their deposited crypto funds from Celsius. Just hours after Celsius announced that it was freezing all withdrawals, the value of the Celsius cryptocurrency dropped by 70%. The price of the Celsius token continued to fall over the next few days. Along with the drop in the Celsius price, the crypto market has seen a massive sell-off due to the volatility and falling prices of various major cryptocurrencies. On July 3, 2022, Celsius announced that it would be laying off 23% of its total staff as the company faced growing liquidity issues. And on July 13, 2022, the company finally filed for bankruptcy. So, overall, this year has not been good for crypto and well Richard Hart predicted that as a reminder, in 2017, Richard predicted that Bitcoin would reach $20,000 when it was only $5,000 and he called the Bitcoin top at $20,000. In 2019, he also predicted that Bitcoin would reach $60,000. Richard called the top on Bitcoin at $65,000 on the day, warned everyone about the Ethereum top, and reminded everyone that the ETH top came 27 days after the Bitcoin top last time. And indeed, it happened again. This year, he also stated that Bitcoin would fall to $10,000. Currently, Bitcoin is sitting at $17,000, so if things go as he predicted, we are far from the end of the bear market. Now, to prevent you from getting caught up in situations like this and losing all your money, we've recorded a video in which we explain step by step what you need to do to protect yourself from the bear market and keep making money in crypto. So if you're interested, watch the next video that will appear on the end screen. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to Crypto Pulse right now, and we meet you next time in another crypto video.